Ivy stared at the fish tank across from her, scratching at her cuticle, simmering with irritation. She'd studied all the fish in the bubbling water so many times, she'd lost count. But there was a new one in the tank today. The new fish was blood orange with white spots. Its body was flat, its left fin ugly and stubby, just like the right fin as it rotated in the tank. The fish appeared lost, like it had no clue what the hell it was doing in the glass box. It had been snatched from the comfort of its own home, trapped in a tank. Ivy knew the feeling of being trapped, except she hadn't been trapped in tanks. She'd been trapped in box-sized rooms, or worse, forced to share a box-sized room with another person around her age, whom she'd never gotten along with. How it must have sucked to share a single tank with eight other fish, glugging the same water and fighting over pellets of food. A door opened to the left, and a woman with cornrows down to her shoulders, narrow, rectangular glasses on the bridge of her nose, and bright pink lipstick walked out. The woman was always dressed like a hippie. Loose blouses and pants and god-awful sandals that Ivy used to call Bible sandals. The woman loved wearing colorful scarves around her neck, even when it was almost 100 degrees outside. Today, she was wearing a yellow and green one. Welcome, Ivy, Dr. Harold said from the door, bringing her hands together joyously. Ivy stood up with her purse and sighed. It was the same old thing with her therapist, Dr. Marriott Harold. Big smiles and gratefulness. Her name was Marriott to rhyme with Harriet, as Marriott had mentioned once. Marriott's mother liked the name Harriet, so why didn't she just name Marriott Harriet? It never made sense to Ivy. It made her confused, and she hated confusion. Marriott was single and didn't have much of a life outside of being a therapist. No family and not many friends. She had three cats, Whitney, Stevie, and Mikey. All three of them were named after her favorite musical artists, Whitney Houston, Stevie Wonder, and Michael Jackson. Ivy found her life boring and irrelevant.